Al, you, you teased this a little earlier, but will we need the umbrellas in the morning? Well, Mallory, I think most of us won't have to bring the umbrella. It's finally going to start to dry off. Mm -hmm. I will say you'll see fog tomorrow morning, so mm -hmm. do keep that in mind. Make sure you're driving carefully and safely, and we do see pretty comfortable temperatures. Dare I say a bit chilly for some. I mean, right now we're sitting in the mid-60s, closer to 70 degrees for some, like out in Stevensville and Annapolis. 66 in the Inner Harbor, 64 in Columbia. Look, 60 out in Thurmont. We're even seeing 50s in Western Maryland. This is about the temperatures we wake up to tomorrow, so take a mental picture of it because it's likely what you'll see as you step out the door. The thing is you'll get a little less of is the rain. The rain right now heading over us. I mean, we need the rain, so we'll take it moving over into the eastern shore. Most of it, the bay and the heaviest bands just to the south, of course, of Annapolis. Here in the Inner Harbor, we're starting to dry out a bit and in Baltimore, even in portions of Western Maryland, getting those brief breaks, but can't rule out another isolated shower overnight because our cold front's moving through. It's got a lot of moisture with it, but most of the moisture is over us right now, which is good because when we wake up tomorrow and into the rest of the week, we finally see much drier skies and things get a bit better. You can see on future temperatures and radar by about 10 o'clock in the morning, we likely get to see some breaks finally in the clouds. Temperatures back into the upper 60s and then we get back to the 70s pretty quickly throughout the day. About 2 o'clock, we're finally feeling that warmth and we see lots of sunshine, so things look really good, even better for your Tuesday and we'll likely time that out for you. Starting off the day right near that state line, we're back again near the mid 50s, so a bit on the cooler side. It's closer to the 60s near the inner harbor and across the eastern shore. We warm up again back to the upper 70s, so a nice fall or feeling day as we get that little chill in the air to start off the morning. And we continue this pattern really for most of the week. We kind of copy and paste it there, but tracking rain chances, the best rain chance likely going to be tomorrow morning and it's before most of you guys are even awake. So keep that in mind. We likely get a very dry day and a lot's going on, of course, in Maryland this week, so we want to stay dry. Also take a peek at the tropics. Only storm we're watching right now is Nigel, and Nigel's still a tropical storm, likely continuing to stay out in the Atlantic. Nothing to worry about here. We're quiet for now, but we know there's always a come and then there's the storm. So we likely keep an eye on the tropics until the end of hurricane season. And the seven day forecast keeps us nice, dry, comfortable for at least the first five days. You can take a look. Temperatures back into the low 80s. We are pretty comfortable for this time of year as we get towards the end of September and almost the first of fall. The clouds eventually build into the weekend. It does look like the next system brings rain for Sunday and temperatures get back into the mid 70s. So we're feeling a bit on the milder side as we get into the weekend.